What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today we're going to break down the game of Trey Walker, the outstanding defensive back out of Texas Southern. So let's get to know Trey Walker out of Texas Southern in our player profile. He's 6'3", 195. He can play corner or safety, and I liken his game to Morgan Burnett of the Green Bay Packers as I think he's ideally suited to play free safety at the next level. Now, Walker started his career with a bang three interceptions as a freshman, and these are clips from his freshman season before we jump into his senior tape. But as you can see, as a freshman, he showed above average skill set, being able to stay in the hip pocket of a wide receiver, the ability to turn and find the football. And you also saw very good press skills and the skills and technique to effectively pin wide receivers to the sideline in either zone or man, earning freshman All-American honors and all SWAC honors in the process. Now, Walker came into TSU with great talent, but you can definitely tell he was well coached throughout the course of his career. Now let's take a look at his senior film and it's interesting now that teams were not throwing to his side as often as they were back in 2011, but the first thing that stood out to me was his spatial awareness and you see here versus Alcorn State, the Braves are running the wheel route and the, they're trying to influence Walker by getting him the bite on that end cut. He doesn't fall for it, he stays in good shape technique wise and is able to break up the play. Another example is here versus Jackson State as they run a little zone buster and Walker stays technically sound doesn't follow the wide receiver and takes away two of the quarterback's options on that play. That's playing winning football from the neck up and doing a great job of keeping everything in front of you. There's also the run support element that you have to like about Trey Walker's game. I think a team can feel confident and comfortable with Walker versus a run. Whether you want to play him in the hole or alley, Walker has no issue in coming up and making a play. He's a very good open field tackler, which is always good to see from a defensive back. And Trey Walker is the type of guy I consistently saw on film clicking and closing on the ball carrier from the cornerback position. Again, always around the play, whether it's a bubble screen, quick screen, chasing a rundown and forcing a fumble, Walker does a great job defending the run or the short, quick passes. Pressing a wide receiver is all about timing and accuracy and less about power and physicalness. You have to be accurate with your punch, and that throws off everything for the wide receiver. And Trey Walker is a guy that's able to show both on a consistent basis. He's a 6'3 guy that plays 6'3, and that makes it very tough to complete passes against him on a consistent basis. Now, despite not being a blazer, being able to press helps you neutralize speed and keeps you quote unquote in the play, so therefore you can then make the play. So overall, Trey Walker so overall, Trey Walker has more than enough talent to play at the next level. He followed up a very good career at Texas Southern with a good all-star game in the Gridiron Showcase and also put together a very good workout in front of NFL scouts, coaches, and personnel decision makers at the NFL Super Regional Combine. So Trey Walker is a guy that you see definitely checking off all of the boxes on the field and should have a very good pro career.